Yo, what's good people? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today in this video guys, I'm going to show you an easy solo F1 to car merge glitch so you will have the F1 tyres and a normal car. Also, if you guys like what you see on the channel, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll try to post these glitches out as soon as they come out so you get them before they get patched. And before we get into the video, let's just look at our sponsor real quick. Quick shout out for today's sponsor, Aurora Resupply. They do all types of services for all you GTA needs, like account boost, money, mod accounts, and all that good stuff. If you're interested, first link in the description. Use code Barnacle for 10% off. First step for this glitch is just walk into your bunker. That's it, that's the first step done. Now, once you get into your bunker, all you do is just walk back out. Now once you're outside your bunker, just call in a helicopter or a car and go all the way over to your auto shop. Now from here just enter into your auto shop. Now once you're in your auto shop guys just run over to your F1 car. You must have an F1 car for this glitch or it will not work. But as you can see mine is upgraded. The upgrades on this F1 car will go on to the car. So just like the wheels, the paint job. But just jump into your F1 car, click right on the D-pad to go into the auto shop. And once you're in the auto shop, click B or circle if you're on PlayStation, just back out the auto shop. Now jump out your F1 car guys and run over to the chairs as you see me doing here. You can do this upstairs or downstairs, it does not really matter but in the video I'm doing it downstairs. But from here, go near the chairs and it should say click right on the d-pad to sit down. Before sitting down guys, just make sure you register yourself as a CEO as you see me do here in the video. Once you register as a CEO, pull out your phone, go to your contacts, scroll down to Tony and call Tony. Once Tony answers, click the first option. As soon as you do click it, click right on the D-pad to sit down. Once you sit down guys, in a couple seconds you will get a 20 minute timer at the bottom right of your screen. That's how you know you've done it correct while you're sitting down and you have the timer as you can see on my screen right now. From here guys, you can just stand up. And now guys, once you have stood up, you can see there is a car in my auto shop. You walk over to that car. Once you're near that car, there is an option to buy. You click the option to buy the vehicle and it should glitch out and you will get the upgrades from your F1 car onto this car. Sadly, you won't be able to buy it yet. You'd have to wait the 20 minute timer out. But once the 20 minute timer does run out, you can buy it. I will show you what it looks like on screen. Make sure you guys do not get kicked from the server because if you do get kicked from the server for being AFK, you will have to restart the whole glitch over again so just put an elastic band on your controller or just keep moving your controller around as you guys can see i've only got a couple seconds left of the mission and when the mission ends i will be able to purchase the vehicle there we go the mission has ended and from here it says click x to purchase the vehicle if you're on playstation obviously it's square but yeah purchase the vehicle and pick a garage i'll put it into my auto shop so i can show you guys straight away and you will have to customize it which i will be showing you as soon as it arrives into my auto shop garage as you can see guys it has arrived into my garage it only takes a couple seconds but when it does arrive into your garage just get into it as you can see all the upgrades are still on the vehicle but just to save it so your game doesn't glitch out and you lose it make sure you go into the auto shop garage or you can go into a los santos custom change one thing about it i would recommend changing the license plate because obviously you do not lose any money for it it is free but yeah once you have done that you have successfully upgraded your normal car into an f1 modded car so yeah now you can drive out you can leave the session you can go to a new session you'll keep it forever as you guys can see i do drive out and i'm just driving around with it and i still got the tires and everything from this part guys you can use this car in the future when there is a new glitch to transfer it over from one car to the other and yeah 
you can transfer them around but if this video helped you guys don't forget to leave a like and subscribe join my discord check out the sponsor for the video and yeah guys as usual peace out